right, Ashley, thank you so much. And of course, happening today, Cincinnati Pride is holding its 45th annual parade to celebrate the history and diversity of the LGBTQ community here in the tri-state. Now to your side's Brianna Malloy is live now at Sawyer Point with what you can expect today. Brianna, good morning. Good morning, Tamika. That's right. This is where Cincinnati Pride Festival is going to take place this afternoon. As you can see, the booths are already set up behind me. There are also two stages here where live bands and performances will be held today. Now, these festivities won't begin until noon, but starting early this morning, people will start making their way downtown to get a glimpse of the annual Pride Parade. Now, a little bit of the history of this event. This event goes back to 1973. Now, that's just a couple years after the Stonewall Uprising in New York and right towards the beginning of the gay rights movement here in the United States. So definitely a long, rich history with this event, and that's something organizers take a lot of pride in. But they also say, even for those of you who come back year after year, you should always expect to see something new. One new feature this year is a sober zone for anyone in recovery. Andrew Moreno, this year's festival chair, tells us more about it. This year we have partnered with GLAST. Uh, Cincinnati Pride has put together and sponsored an event, um, an area for people recovering from sober. Uh, so we call it the Sober Zone, presented by Cincinnati Pride. And other features you can expect, 32 vendors, new bands, and a new Kids zone. So if you'd like to come down and experience Cincinnati Pride for yourself, the parade will begin downtown at 11 and the festival will begin here at noon and last until 9 o'clock. Live at Sawyer Point, Brianna Malloy, 9 on your side. All right, Brianna, thank you so much. And of course, there are going to be a lot of people in town. So as you head out this morning, uh, be sure to check first with nine on your side. There are going to be a lot of road closures and that parade route could certainly impact your morning commute. The 7th Street ramp from southbound 75 and Guest Street will close starting at 8 o'clock this morning. There will also be a number of road closures along the parade route downtown starting at 1030. So again, you can check that full parade route right now on WCPO.com.